will meet again. <gasps> Though we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <laughs> we have always had enough time. I wish you every success, adventurer. Monstad welcomes you. Ah, honorary knight. Is something the matter? A stranger with an eye patch. Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, he was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh, I lost him pretty quickly. Still, I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual looking person. Why? You need something? Here. Yeah, I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's Share. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> Traveler, you say? Hmm. Why are you traveling? <sighs> I'll take that 500 mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Ugh. Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there.
Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Danesmith, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... Oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Bow before the Abyss! Huh! 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 
that be? Ether. <gasps> Wait! She just blocked an attack against the Abyss Herald! Your sister? And the Abyss? Ether, why are you with Dane? Your sister knows Dane? <laughs> Lumine, we meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows her too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Lumine. But it must be said. <sighs> Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man, Dainsliff, was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. Five hundred years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into monsters of the Abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh... Uh, I'm so confused. Home. Yes. Of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Ether. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <laughs> we have always had enough time. to her. Still, we don't know for sure if she's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your sister said that she wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be that she wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed! 
This story is just plain terrifying. And Dave is from Conria, too. He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your sister said that Dane is her enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we spent searching for your sister, it turns out she's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then... We can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your sister wants you to reach the end of your journey, well then, show her what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go.